Alright, there we go. It is so cold. Um, yeah, it's like icy. Maybe it's snowed. That's not Got this fashion show. Boots. Got like three layers. Crazy! You know what? One of the most important things to do is have a bill on a boat. But fix the f up. Oh, uh, yeah. Today we're sailing from Albany to Esperance, which is still all in Western Australia. So we've got our trout plotter which broke and it's getting sent to Esperance. So we'll meet it there when it gets there. We don't have any power to, well, we don't have any to the, to the tight engine. So just got the top down. We're going to the underway. So, yeah. uh, so we're just going to do a quick fix on the on the throttle for now. I can not see so it's going to be just doing it on the bottom. Let's see if we can just put it on if we need it. And then to fix it for the way we get these ones. But it's going to So as Tony says, the most important thing to know on a boat is how to fix it. And here we are, giving it a red hot crack. So we do need the new throttle cable to go all the way through. So we have to grab another one in these sprints, but we are made a temporary, a temporary throttle cable for now. So a bit of rope will do. Things like this can happen all the time out at sea. So knowing how to fix it is very important. Um, and obviously anything could break at any point. So you have tools and all sorts of things on board, but some things you just can't fix till you get parts. So you can't really carry all spare parts on board. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? I went, oh! Yeah, there we go. The sea wasn't too rough, there was a bit of wind, but it kind of dropped off after we first started sailing. Because at times as well, you can't fix anything because of the sea. Is that just the bilge again? Yeah, I've just, just emptied the out a little bit more. The bilge was still leaking, but it was manageable, so we just keep emptying it out when the alarms go off. Pretty sure it's coming from the rain down the mast. There's a bit of a leak there somewhere. Otherwise, the toilet, we think, could be leaking in. On a delivery you kind of just keep the boat afloat and going and don't you don't do a lot of major repairs because obviously that's the job of the owner you just have to get the boat there so anything that you need to get the boat there that's what you fix we had some pretty nice pretty nice sunny weather but it was a bit cold still obviously it's winter here we saw some dolphins as we were sailing out as well By this point I have pretty much decided that I'm going to get off the boat. Um, it really makes me uncomfortable the way that these people communicate, just like shouting and shouting at each other and just 
the way it's just so unnecessary like swearing and carrying on and it really makes me feel uncomfortable which then in turn makes me feel a little bit unsafe like I know that they can say all but it sometimes isn't the whole thing so emotionally I just don't really feel safe and it's not a nice feeling and you know there's other boats that I can get on there's always going to be other opportunities and I'm glad that I took this opportunity but I also I don't have to put myself through things like this if I am not going to enjoy it then what's the point so I'm not worried about finding another opportunity to take to do this and I just think I won't learn anything because of the way that he speaks and shouts and carries on it's like I don't want to engage with them at all so I'm not really in a place where I'm you know curious or wanting to find out things it's just kind of like I'll do the bare minimum because it's you know really not an enjoyable situation so we sailed all day yesterday and dropped the sails this morning as we were coming into Esperance. We got everything ready to pull up to the dock. The sun was shining, but it was still pretty cold down this part of the country. So we sailed about 200 miles in just over 24 hours. The night wasn't too rough. The wind picked up, so we just reefed the sails. And Sprint, so we've sailed all day yesterday, so we just over 24 hours. Um, oh, I think that's dirty. Um, so here we are coming in. There's a big grain terminal over there. Um, we're just going to come into that little marina. And then, yeah, that's it. We'll just tie up and see what happens. There's a bit of a storm coming, so we're going to just hang out here. I think until Thursday, we'll get a new screen and stuff. But yeah, not a bad sail. The cool thing about the sailing community is like everyone kind of knows people around everywhere so you know they're all there to kind of help and stuff so these guys are friends of somebody who the captain had met in Bustleton and the guy in Bustleton was like oh I know people in Esperance if you're going there you know let me know when you're going to be there and we'll get them to help you out or they can get your berth or whatever so these guys had showed up and they knew we were coming in and helped us dock here so that was really really nice and yeah it's a nice thing about about this community I guess it's still like huge and around the world but once you get into it you know everyone's kind of really willing to help and do whatever so these people also drove um, Tony and Shelley to the marine shop to get the throttle cable and you know told us that there's the yacht club there and the showers and where everything is in town and stuff like that so pretty good it's also good to have like lots of local knowledge for the sailings that we're we're going to go on or the pa the passages that you're doing local knowledge is always the thing that helps the most it's super important to have even though everything's kind of online you can can't really beat knowing you know if someone's done the sale before they know exactly what to expect so doing this passage at this time of year is some of the worst time to sail across the australian the great australian bite um but yeah i mean the captain's chosen to do this and do this crossing so that's his choice Yeah, so I, not long after this, we docked and I packed my things and got off the boat. Um, I definitely have no regrets because I really, really wasn't comfortable. And so, you know, there's just no need to, to do that. And the thing is, is I, I think back 
when I was a bit younger, I definitely would have just done it and just put up with it, but it wouldn't have been, you know, it would have been a bit of a miserable trip. So, so I will move on to the next thing. So. So I'm currently in New Zealand and I've brought a van and I'm going to be road tripping around. So if you want to see more of that content, follow me here and I'll be posting videos and also on my TikTok and Instagram. So get amongst it and I'll see you soon.